Okay, so I'm going to start a string of videos all about how Korea is better than America, specifically California, and how Korea is worse than America, specifically California. So with each video, I'm going to give you about somewhere between 5 to 10 reasons for each. I've been compiling a pretty big list, asking some people I know, and let's start with how Korea is better than America. First reason, houses are cheaper. Well, they actually, they don't really have very many houses in Korea, but apartment living is a lot cheaper. Like, all my time in Southern California, I would easily be paying somewhere between $800 to $1,000 a month on rent. And, well, it's true, I was living in, like, you know, the college communities close to the beach, but you had to live there. Social pressures forced you to. Um, here in Korea, uh, apartment living, you can in general do it somewhere between $200 to $500. Um, I think some of the higher-end ones are about $700. But in general, a lot cheaper to live in the sense of paying utilities and paying for a place to stay. Uh, another cool thing about Korea, water cups. Um, in America, we usually have drinking fountains or there's like, you know, the little, the little cups like this big for water. But in Korea, they have these really handy paper cup things. I should have got one for the video. But, um, yeah, there's like, they're just like two slits of paper and you can like open them up and you put the water in here and you drink it and it's, yeah, it's pretty clever. Uh, when I first got here, I had no idea what they were and I was like, how can I drink this water? There are no cups, but the cups were these little paper things. Um, the next point, at restaurants, uh, what you can do is, you know, you can wait for your waitress to come, but she probably won't come. Uh, instead, in Korea, they have these little bells, these little buttons, and when you press them, it goes bing bong, and uh, then your waitress or your server knows that you're ready to order or want to order new things or ready for the bill. And it's genius. I don't understand why America can't do that. It would be so smart to put little bells on the table, and when you're ready to get your server, you press it. Um, it's just so smart. Uh, next thing, public transportation in general. Wow, Korea kicks our ass. I can get from the middle of Daejeon to the middle of Seoul in like one hour. Uh, in America, that's, that's like, impossible. Like, this, the same distance is roughly downtown San Diego to downtown L.A., but there's no chance you could get there in an hour. Um, maybe by flying and parachuting out of a plane. But, um, you know, in Korea, we ha there's just a great bus system, there's a great subway system, and bullet trains kick our ass. Uh... You know, also they have these handy transport cards, so like if you want to take a subway and then take a bus, you don't have to pay again. And, uh, you know, the fees for taking a subway or a bus are a dollar. You know, you pay a dollar, go where you want to go. Uh, bullet train, here to Seoul, 20 bucks. Uh, in America, no way. So much more expensive. Ridiculous. Um, next point, gym jabongs. I've talked about these before. I think America... Well, America could never do Jim Jabongs. People would frickin' murder each other. But, um, Jim Jabongs are just great. They're a good part of Korea. You, know, you pay seven bucks, and you sleep there. It's just a, a place to crash, a, a sauna. Uh, you can hang out with your friends. They got a lot of cool smelling rooms. It's really a nice experience. I've made another video about Jim Jabongs. You can check that out in there. Uh, next thing, Norebongs. Singing rooms. Wonderful. Just... It's a great place to, to end the night with some friends. You know, you're all, you're all having a great time, and uh, it's like 3 in the morning. What should you do? You go to a singing room, and you do karaoke for the next three hours. Uh, so fun. You know, you, you, when you got your group of friends with you, and you're singing, it's, it's enjoyable. Uh, I've always been a singing guy myself. Um, and yeah, America really... It, they need to have options for you to do things at three in the morning on a Saturday other than drink and drive, which is, uh, kind of stupid. Um, uh, and off of that point, 
um, bar hours in general in Korea. They the bars usually like never close. They close at like 7 a.m. But in America, there are all these ordinances. You know, close the club at two, close the bar at two, stop serving drinks at midnight. But uh, no, in Korea, you you buy drinks all the way up till 6:59, uh, and uh, off of that as well, drinking in public. Uh, everyone can just drink alcohol outside. Um, it's not, uh, from what I understand, it's it's kind of socially taboo, but it's not illegal, and us. Foreigners, we do it all the time. So, uh, yeah, I think that's just a wonderful, fun thing, and America is kind of a little too hardcore about that. Um, so, yeah, anyway, if uh, you'd like me to elaborate on any of these points, I can do that in the comments. And I have many more reasons why Korea is better than America. This is just part one of a video series, which will also be followed by why Korea is worse than America. So, anyway, peace out.